Joe, and don't forget with the two 10 eights to open up, that does give him a margin for error. Round nine, one more after this. An eliminator for the British Cruiserweight title. I think I said at the end of the second round, Jim, didn't I? Be very surprised if this one goes the distance. Well, boxing is full of surprises. These two have really toughed it out. Conquest again. The match just seems to stand here, rooted as the punch comes towards them. The hand conquest hurt him because he lands flush, clean, and regularly. And Camacho just soaks it up. And again, the positive work coming from Tony Conquest here. And again, Camacho not using the advantages that he has, the strength. The power and just the sheer size of him. Here about, it comes now. What about the body shots, Jim? He's hardly bothered Camacho with a body shot. When he did, he hurt him. And now he's starting to unload again, but catching a right hand for his pains. And there's another one. Conquest first in again. Better jabbing, though, from Camacho. Can he set up that big left hand? Well, you feel that Camacho would have to take it to Conquest and stay there, just let the punches fall. But he's still picking away, just fighting in little spots. Nice counter again, right hand. Slipping inside the lead, Conquest. Inside the last minute. On round nine, Conquest going to work again. A couple of solid looking right hands. Camacho trying to find a response now. But again, it's Conquest first to the punch, as he has been so often from round three onwards. And she'll nearly came out there for Camacho. I just feel Conquest is showing he's, he's the better man of the two, the better technique. He's held his boxing together. The Camacho just stopped producing pretty early in this one tonight. Again, most of them missing from Wadi Camacho. The cleaner work coming from Tony Conquest. And what was that? Real crude looking stuff there from Camacho. Looks like he tried to look Conquest off and then launched in. Conquest wasn't buying any of that. There's nothing really cleanly come from Camacho in that round. Oh, this is the more optimistic corner right now. Well, I think Conquest has turned us all the way around with boxing like that, picking clean, accurate punches like that. I mean, when was the last time we saw action like that coming from Camacho? Quite a few rounds ago. Conquest looking far happier in the corner these days. Well, he was smiling in some of the middle rounds. And Jason Rowland has done a very tidy job with him, keeping everything calm, staying within the game plan. And they're still staying with it. That show off is still early. Who would have thought this? The Wadi Camacho had his man on the floor twice in the first two rounds, but it's Wadi that needs the big finish here. And possibly a knockdown to get anything out of this. It depends on the judges, and we do have three scoring judges. It won't be Michael Alexander that calls it. Ian John Lewis, Marcus McDonald, Steve Gray are the men officiating. And again, the eye catching stuff. Tony Conquest is the man providing it. Well, will Camacho try to impose himself at long last, or is he going to keep on picking away with punches, trying to set Conquest up for one big left hand? That seems to be what he's been doing. And if it lands, it could be a game changer. Well, that's becoming a big if now. We're in the last three minutes. Well, 
Frank Press out of range so far. Maybe just happy to keep out of harm's way. And Camacho not able to offer anything in terms of a response to that. Well, he's landing the job, he's going for it now, Camacho. Catching a big right hand for his pains again, though, but walking through it as he's done everything Conquest has thrown at him. But as I say, he should be taking it to Con Conquest and staying with him. Whatever he has left in the tank, he should be pouring it out here. Because I think this has slipped away from him, this is a bit better from him. For the first time he's actually has his hands up high, we haven't seen that either from Camacho all the way through. And his conquest, getting the crowd going again as we get down to the last minute or so of what's been an absorbing and gruelling ten-rounder. One minute remains. And still Camacho can't up the work rate. Lots of posing and training going on, not scoring any points. But look what Conquest does in response. Three unanswered punches, another one. And how many more of these is he going to land? And it's turning into a landslide here for Conquest. Yeah, and again Camacho's head is standing there as though he doesn't see the punches coming. Missing badly himself. 30, 30 seconds He's left. Hurt. He was shaken again though. And every time he does get involved in a tear-up conquest, things look like they go wrong in a hurry. But can Camacho find anything in the last 20 seconds? Good response again from conquest. Well, Camacho was hurt in that last little exchange. He's back on to his heels now. He needed a big round and he's not getting one. Not missing badly. Now, I can only see one winner here. Me too. But I'll tell you That's something else, Jim. Conquest. If, if boxing is about entertainment, these guys delivered in bucket loads. That really was terrific action. A well-deserved applause throughout this arena. Jim, you yep. see it massive. Yep, I've got them all the way around. I, you know, I, I couldn't give Camacho a round after, after the, the, the third round onwards. He was predictable, he was slow. Rounds three and four were a little bit closer. But from that point on, all the better work for me was coming from Tony Conquest. And I think the body language in the Conquest's camp, they feel pretty certain that they've done enough. I certainly do. A little bit tighter, I wouldn't argue with. But I just feel that Camacho threw it away. A terrific start, to four points up after two rounds. But he just seemed to lose his concentration, he stopped producing. But he, he thinks he's won, Jim. Look at this. Yeah, he does, but uh, I don't know why, because all the, the, the punches that you seem to remember came from Tony Conquest. He had a huge start. Tony Conquest had a mountain to climb after two rounds, but I thought from that point on he was the better man. Technique, punches landed, I could say. So, looking forward to see what the judges felt about this one. Uh, judges very much in the spotlight these days. I got it closer than you, Jim. I gave Camacho one of those last eight rounds. So for me, it's conquest by two, but it's very hard to make a case for Camacho winning that one. And he's an, an enigma. He's got a lot of power. He takes a shot so well. He's got through the ten rounds. There's an awful lot you can build on there for Wadi Camacho. But he does seem very limited on ideas. Yeah, but he boxed at the wrong pace uh, you know, all the way through. I just think he felt he had the job done in the early stages. It looked as though he did. So, really looking forward to see what the judges were impressed by in this one. Well, Jim sees it. Four rounds for Tony Conquest. I've got it two rounds for Tony Conquest. Doesn't matter what we think. There are three scoring judges, and this is how they see it. Ladies and gentlemen, after ten rounds of boxing, in an eliminator for the British Cruiserweight Championship, the judges' scorecards read. Judge Steve Gray has scored this, 95-94. Ian John Lewis, 96-93. Marcus McDonald, 96-93. All three judges are in favour of the winner, who will go through now to box for the British Cruiserweight Championship and the Lord Lonsdale's Challenge Belt, and that is Tony Conquest! He it as well, and the look of disbelief on Wadi Camacho's face told his own story. Look at him, he thinks he won that, genuinely. 
I mean, surely the language in the corner, Camacho's corner in between rounds, and they couldn't have been any straighter with him. They told him he was throwing it away. They told him he had to up his work rate, stop just looking for single tower shots. But he didn't respond. Not they got the right man. I had it a little bit wider than the judges, but I don't care about that. I thought from the second round on, but there was only one man producing, and that was Tony Conquest. And what a terrific turnaround and a terrific performance from him. Absolutely right. You had it by four, I had it by two. Two of the judges had it by three. The other had it by one. But it was unanimous.